Okay, this video is going to be about creating an index in SpeechCat. I've already created a document that we can utilize, so I'm just going to go into Scope. There's no need to load the engine. This is normally going to be something that you're going to do during your very last proof in Scope. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and insert our cover pages also known as finalizing. We're going to click on job and finalize and OK. It's going to tell me that I don't have um, the information filled out for my speaker information which is OK because this is only an example normally that is something you want done. So now that we've got our cover pages in we have what we call an empty index which is um, anywhere you see this asterisk the word index in all caps open paren a number close paren asterisks <clears throat> that is where that particular index will be placed so one of the things that um, we might do is we might list where Alt I and I'm gonna put this in the general index that's where my cover page starts there's my index and this is gonna be where my proceeding starts and I want to make a note of that too so I'm gonna put that in my general index and then I'm gonna to proceed to search for exhibits that might be in my document <clears throat> to do that the easiest way to do it is to do control F which will bring up the find box I'm gonna backspace over that and type in the word exhibit find next it's gonna take me to the first example of the word exhibit and they're referring to a black notebook so I can click on index and the, this is going to be, um, we're going to think that this is a state's exhibit. And now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and do Control F again. Type in exhibit. Find next. And here's the second exhibit. Now it's saying look at page three of the same chart that's actually going to be exhibit number two and so I'm going to click on index states exhibit and every time I do that it's going to add to my exhibits list if ever I want to view that I can go to index show index page and slide over to index page one that's going to bring up the first page of my index as you can see here and I've created some indexes before just to make this video a little bit quicker so if I hit the numeric 3 the numeric 4 that's going to be the listing of all the indexes that I've um, found so far and the page numbers that they were on and I can hit list number five six seven eight nine you can have up to nine indexes and in order to go ahead and insert the index we're gonna pretend like I've already inserted all I've already created all the indexes and to then insert the index all we have to do is go to index and create indexes. Okay, once the index has been completed and has written to your scope window, you'll see instead of the asterisk index open paren number close paren asterisk instead of that you'll actually see things that you've added 
and all you have to do is tab the page numbers over so that they're actually where you want them to be and you want to do that for all of the things that you've added you may or may not have created something like this to list your examinations I didn't add any examinations to the index but that you can certainly do as well and then I'm just moving numbers over um, there are times when the numbers wrap to the next line you can delete that and then tab them over just delete the extra space and tab them over to where you want them, backspace them over to where you want them, whichever is appropriate for you. You can edit it to your heart's content to look the way you want it to look. But the hard part has been done for you. It's actually um, brought in the page numbers where you found those certain items as well as whatever you highlighted. This is completely editable, so you can totally go in and e edit any of the words that you see here. So if you want to change anything, you certainly can. And all I'm doing is just making this the text fit and tabbing over the numbers, and so now you're you're done with your index and you're ready to move to present. You can hit save and you are done. Thanks for watching.